Um, pumpkin spice still? No, that one's gone. What's up? What's up? Happy Sunday. Uh I don't know, y'all won't be getting this until Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Yeah, y'all won't get this until Wednesday. <laughs> but I, no, right? What's today? Today is Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all already got y'all vlog for Sunday. It's already ready. But y'all will get this on Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, y'all, we're about to go to lunch. We're about to go to BJ's. Finally, we've been trying to go there for a long, long time. Um, I just got done doing my, well, sending me pictures for my thumbnail. So I'm about to make my thumbnail for the video that you guys are gonna get later today. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna let it out kinda early today because it's Sunday and I know y'all probably chilling, waiting on the video or something. And um, yeah, I'll probably keep you posted. I don't, I don't never pick up the camera on Sundays. It's kinda my off day from vlogging. Except, you know, unless I'm going somewhere or doing something, so. We might get outside and do some things. We might not. Either way it go, I'll let you know. Cause you'll be with me, you know. <laughs> Unless I wanna go ho. <laughs> but I don't know though. <laughs> I'm so upset. Our room was just so clean. Oh my God, her room was clean and Ryder just fucked this room up. Oh my God. All right, y'all, so I'll see y'all uh, when we get to the restaurant. I think I started something. I got what I wanted. Did, did, and I can't feel nothing. Super human, even when I'm fucking for Agra. Popping every single record. Auto, tune in, zero, motion, muted, motion. Pitch corrected, computed, emotion. When y'all go out to eat and go to restaurants, do not let your kid be irritated as hell and keep banging on the damn the chairs and making all that goddamn noise. Man, this little kid who was sitting behind mine and just kept kicking the seat, kept kicking the seat. I should have turned around to kick this motherfucking ass. Ain't I'm no like, mama. you don't see that your kid is doing that? You're not, like, that's not, like, what? You're not gonna stop him? You think that's okay? I should have been a Karen. Um, so, wait, sorry, bro. Excuse me, can you tell him to stop. please stop Thank kicking you. the back of this? I can't enjoy myself. <clears throat> anyway, BJ's was pretty good. That was our first time ever going there. Um... I can see myself going back for like, well, like lunch again, but not like no dinner. Like, oh, this gone. It's about to fuck it up. But it's okay. Ooh. What you rated? Mm, I'll give it a five out of 10. Five out of 10? Uh, I'll give it like I love mozzarella sticks and they threw me off with the mozzarella sticks. Really, so th those were nasty. Those were nasty. So, so they dropped it down and that pissed me off because you know I love mozzarella sticks. And they motherfucking pizza sauce was disgusting. <laughs> well, I'll give it a five because I really enjoyed the um, potato skins. Potato skins was pretty good. Um, that's the only reason why I really went. But yeah, we're about to, I don't know what we're about to get into this Sunday night. Probably nothing. Um, but. Oh, bro. Uh -oh. Walter. Hold on, Walter. But I'll, I'll bring you along. Let's see. <laughs> bring him along where? To know wherever I go, wherever it is. Wherever I go, you go. If I'm going home, we're going home. We're going somewhere else, we're going somewhere else.
Exactly. You put it. Now that's just nasty. Why would you fart like that in here? <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my God. Ugh, I don't want to be bad. Y'all, this is so nice. Look at this mixer. A matte army green. Oh, really nice. Target just make you spend money for no reason. Oh my God, I walked right into it with my stupid, oh my God. Ooh. All right, y'all, we just left out at Target. The reason why I love shopping at Target versus like Walmart and Myers is because Target really support black people. And it's a lot of black people products that's in Target, all through Target. I was looking for this ice cream that Casey Connection had on her vlog channel, and it's made by a black um, person. And they're the, one of the first black people to have a, a ice cream, you know. So, yeah, that's why we love Target, and I'd rather spend money at Target than those other stores, okay? But now, I'm about to go home and do nothing. I don't know yet. We might go out later, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I don't have a haircut and I don't have none to wear. So, we'll see. Because Anthony got a whole itinerary set, and I don't know why. It's too cold outside to be out, honestly. And he want to go four different places. He, he want to go club hopping in the cold. So, uh... Yeah. It's cold, I'm Cold, cold. It's cold and COVID out there. So, <laughs> I'll see y'all when we get back to the crib. I wonder what they're finna put right here. Back to the crib. Show you how to leave. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pass I'm not passing anything. Let me drive and you sit where you sit. I hate a bitch with braids on the side of me. What's up? We're smoking. Y'all, it is literally... Oh. Hold on. What? Who? What's that? I know you're talking about them candies that used to be like lifesavers. Yeah. No. Oh wait, the strawberry ones. Yeah, but did you like Um, what was I finna say to y'all? Oh yeah, I saw this is hours, 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 hours later. It is 12:26. I don't even remember the last time I had picked up this camera. Um. I end up doing nothing, sitting on the couch watching um, a few YouTube videos. I had watched Peyton's video, and then what else happened? I just straightened up the kitchen a little bit. I need to really clean up. I need to try to get some sleep, but once again, it's hard for me to go to sleep at night. I'm about to pop a few um, Tylenol PMs. You know what I'm saying? Get a little. Why is it blue? Get a little rest. Mm. Just trying to set up my studio back how it was from when we played Song Association. So when I do my video, I don't have to do that later. Um, I am going to get a haircut on Tuesday because my barber don't cut hairs on cut hairs cut hair on Monday. She takes Mondays off, so I'm gonna get in touch with her so I can get me a haircut on Tuesday because I'm tired of walking around this beat looking like this. This is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna do that on Tuesday, and then tomorrow I'm going to work. I'm going crazy. I got so many stuff I need to do. So many things I got to get done. Get ready for the um, next month. Who is my kind of flying by though? Yeah. But I'm going to call it a night and I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is Monday. And hopefully, we have a good, productive Monday. So I'll see you guys. What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. Happy Martin Luther King Day. It is uh, the 6th, January 17th, January 17th, that's what it is, and I am <clears throat> getting ready to go run a few errands, I have to go 
pick up my prescription, I have to go to Kroger, and I have to go pick up my food for my video. I got uh, something from the Cheesecake Factory I gotta go pick up for a mukbang. And I just want to come on here <laughs> to tell y'all. Or no, I don't have to tell you. I gotta ask y'all. Why why y'all be so mad? The people from New Orleans. People from New Orleans, y'all are... <laughs> Y'all going in. Okay, listen. My cousin made gumbo. The pack said gumbo. Like, this is her version of gumbo. And it was really, really good. Y'all like, uh-uh. I don't know whatever that is in that pot. But it ain't gumbo. We don't put corn in our gumbo or snow crab in our gumbo. Like, she just put a twist on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't from Louisiana. No disrespect from the people in NOLA, baby. You know? But <laughs> it was good. She said she made it the uh, original way before, and it took too long, and this was like improv too, so it was really, really good. I don't, it was no disrespect intended, and I'm about to make some the same way she made it, so that's how good it was. I'm about to make it too, so I know y'all, y'all know y'all like to tussle, I know y'all like to tussle, but don't hit me, okay? Don't beat up on me. It was really good. <laughs> Y'all is crazy. Tell me, there ain't no damn gumbo. What? What is it then? That's what it said. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're about to go run a few errands. I gotta put me a coat on because I know it's freezing outside. I'm about to go first. First, I think I wanna go to Kroger. So we're gonna go to Kroger first. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Y'all. Tell me why I left y'all at home. I did not mean to. We went crazy looking for stuff. <sighs> so I went to go to Cheesecake Factory to go get my food. Couldn't get the food. So I ended up getting um, just some stuff to do a, a little video at home real quick. A little seafood bowl, kinda. It's just gonna be potatoes, shrimp, and corn, and eggs in a bowl with my sauce. And then I'm gonna make some gumbo that I was telling y'all about later. We went on a hunt. Three different stores to find okra. Man, I was determined. So I think I got everything that I need. We went to Kroger, we went to Meyer, and we went to two different Walmarts. So, y'all. Let me start getting all this stuff together. And I'll let y'all in a minute. What's up, family? I'll be missing y'all. I'll be missing y'all. Y'all be missing me because I'll be missing y'all. Okay? I literally just got done eating. <clears throat> now I'm about to edit the mukbang really quick, put it out, and then I gotta film dinner. Um,. They want gumbo. I'll make some gumbo that my cousin had made that y'all was talking about in the comment section. Y'all have been really rude. People from New Orleans. Because it ain't the way y'all make it over there in no luck. We don't know how to make it like that because we ain't from over there. <laughs> Listen, I'm about to make it just like she made hers. Okay? I ain't never I ain't never um made it before either. And I enjoyed the way she made it. It was really good. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then, gonna be probably, probably about, probably about it. Probably about it, that's it. What is this shit? So I'll see y'all when I get done um, editing this video. I'm gonna be in the kitchen. I try to I tried to prep a little. I cut the um, tails off of the shrimp, cleaned the shrimp, deveined the shrimp. I have to cut up the onions and the bell pepper that I'm gonna put in it. I don't know if y'all use that. Um, cut off the sausage. Cut up um, cut up the chicken. Okay, now I'm using chicken thighs. They didn't have any skinless chicken thighs, so I gotta take the skin off of the chicken thighs, and I have to uh, cut them up. Gotta do that. 
And then everything else should be pretty easy and fast. Um, it's like a little packet, y'all. L.A., Louisiana, gumbo-based. Um, so that's it's not official. Please don't judge, okay? Um, I would love to come to Louisiana and the people who are from Louisiana show me where to go get some good gumbo from or cook some gumbo from me um, because, you know, I ain't from there. And... I love Louisiana. I wish I had an accent, a Nola accent, but I don't. I wish I was from the Nola, baby. So, uh, yeah, I know how y'all like to tussle, okay? I know how y'all like to tussle. But please don't swing on me, okay? Don't, don't, don't swing on me. I ain't here for it today. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Maybe we can tussle tomorrow, but not today. So, I'm about to hurry up. Because it is late, it is 9.32, and this video was due earlier. I did not plan on staying out long <laughs> as I did at all at the stores getting this shit. So, um, let me hurry up and get this out, and I'll holler at you guys in a couple moments. Matter of fact, I'm about to multitask. This video is up, um, uploading to the computer. It is. This is the longest process right here, y'all. When you take your file... Right, I took my file from my um uh, from my camera. Basically, I put my memory card, which is right here, into the computer. It pops up. I go into it. Okay, I pick the video, drag it over here to Final Cut Pro. I pick the video. Dang, is can y'all see? I pick whatever video, you drag it over here to Final Cut Pro. Right, and then you see this little circle. It starts um, processing, and then I gotta wait until it's at a hundred to go through. Right now it's at twenty-one. Important media is at twenty-one. I gotta wait till it's a, at a hundred. Once it's at a hundred, then I can start editing the video, right? And that takes, depending on what type of video it is, <clears throat> it can take a long time. A mukbang don't take me that long. If I'm in it by myself, especially especially if I ain't talking about anything that I got to uh, censor or I ain't saying nothing crazy. Because y'all be real sensitive. So I be trying to make sure I ain't saying nothing crazy. I ain't starting nothing. I ain't fart, burp, or cough too loud or something like that. You edit all that type of stuff out. If you don't have to do none of that, you can just cut in the beginning where you sit down at. Cut at the end. Put your intro in. Sing your video out. Right? Uh, it just depends on that. A mukbang is easy. It's so easy to edit. A vlog, it takes time. Especially if you're doing like a weekly vlog or something like that. It takes two to three hours sometimes to edit. Then you got to think about it. Y'all know I, I got that music. I find good music. I find all my music on SoundCloud. I always hear you guys here. I be here. Cause I be reading y'all shit like I, I I read it like if he was talking to me, right? So I be seeing y'all comments and y'all ask like, where do you get your music from? Oh my God, you got great music. I love your playlist. La la la. I take hours on SoundCloud looking for music and it's hard because some of the music be copywritten. So what you got to do is you find a song that you feel like the beat is different from the um, original beat. Like, they change up the beat and then, like, they turn the sound down and the artists don't sound exactly like they sound on the original song. If you take that... So, it can't be the same beat or the same sound, really. Depends on the artist. You find something like that and then, after you download that, I upload it directly to YouTube to see if it's going to get a copyright flag. Um, if it don't, fine, it's great. I put it in my catalog with the other music. If it does, and I really, really like the song, sometimes I'll go to the part where it says it got, you know, caught it, like the music, they recognized it here. So I will edit, um, I will rename that song, and then in the song where it got caught it, I'll put it in my caption in the name of the song. So once I'm editing my video and I want that song in it where it got caught, wow, because, okay, Rihanna... Wild Wild Thoughts. This is a song that I had uh, downloaded the other day, right? And I think it was like one minute and 36 seconds into the song, they ca caught it when she was saying, Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 thoughts. So, whatever I got to edit, I go to this song, I put it where I want it, I find that part where wow, 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 take it, cut it the fuck out, boop, put the clip back together, upload, <laughs> upload the video. So, the music is hard. Like, I can do a video maybe on that later. 
explaining, you know, exactly how I find the music. But if you don't want to do the work and look for it on SoundCloud, you can download Epidemic Sound. And that's like the music that's um, pre-made <clears throat> for you to, you have to pay monthly, I think $15 for you to use it. And it's like um, copyright free songs. I got a lot of that too. King, Sis King or King Sis, she always got good music on there. Um, that's the song that I'll be using. What is um, um, what is it? I don't even know if I got one of her songs. I don't know what, but she got a lot of songs on there, basically. Um, the Wild Wild Thought song is right here, but I don't want to play it because I ain't got time to cut it out right now. So, yeah, that was just something that I wanted to touch on because I've seen that comment a lot about the music. And I don't want y'all to think I'm like keeping nothing from y'all because that's not what it is at all. We got enough. We got enough out here. Um... I think I left something in my notes to talk to y'all about. Yeah. Uh, what's in my notes to talk to y'all about? Nothing. Not right now. So I'll see y'all when I... I already got something to say to y'all. What you just saying, Poopa? Um, in the video? What you just said? Uh. Love yours? Mm-hmm. Cover your ears, Uncle. Tyler. Tyler. That's good. Love you, viewers. You go. You go. I'm going to open the. Wait for a few more minutes. Make sure you comment below in all our channels. Mine, Ari Beauty, Uncle, Flemish, Tyler. Flavish, my dang dash, and my lane. What you call it? Name tree scripts. I click that subscriber, it gets two million. <laughs> hmm? Go here for a minute. Hurry up. Uh... 2999 viewers. Six. That hurt. Hold your ears real, 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 real tight and just leave them there. I can't hear you, Uncle. Right, just keep doing it. Ow. Alright, y'all, she wanted to come to that. Let me finish editing. What's up? Alright, y'all, so my video is saving. And this is the packet I keep telling you about the gumbo. The Louisiana gumbo base. This is what I'm using. I already told y'all. I already told y'all, no, no tussling, okay? No fighting, none of that, okay? This is a quick way that, you know, it was pretty good when I had it. Just gonna try it again. I'm not from New Orleans, I ain't no connoisseur. Oh, you know, but it was good. I know y'all gonna frown upon it, and y'all gonna talk junk. But I'm gonna put bell pepper. I don't even know if people put bell pepper in it. But I figure it'd be good with some bell pepper and some onion. So I got red bell pepper, I got green bell pepper, I have onion, I have some thighs that I have to um, take the skin off of. I got some okra, it's not fresh okra, it's frozen okra. That my cousin put corn on the cob and hers and it was really, really good. Cause I like corn on the cob anyway. So I'm gonna add a few of those in there. And I got some fresh garlic I'm gonna put in there. And we have some shrimp that is in the bowl here. It was just defrosting. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, yeah. So, oh, and this is the brand of Xanaran. It's the uh, Xanaran and Dewey sausage. This is the only one that they had. So that's what we're gonna use in it. Yeah, and I got some white rice. And also, we're gonna use some chicken broth to put in it instead of all water. Right, so half water, half chicken broth, give it more flavor. Hi, Uncle. Hey, so. Are you ready to do the video? 
So that's what we finna do, y'all. Let's start. Let's start oh, cutting it up. Oh, yeah, y'all. Yeah, uh, ah, freak! I see the stool. <laughs> I'm gonna put um some snow crabs on the side. I'm gonna make them on the side. So all the sides are cooked, the chicken is cooked, the sausage is cooked, and the um, the veggies are cooked. We're going to add in this gumbo base now. It's just this and I think two quarts of water and we're gonna cook the shrimp, you know, as this simmers. I just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds All in the sky Ruin my vibe So usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Lady Wonder what you're doing. Put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me. Mm. Cause I got the plug, I made the call for green. Uh.
call that ass is still amazing. I'm playing, baby. I'm saying, baby. You love this shit, you know I'm crazy. So go ahead and pour a drink up. Yeah. I'm so glad we got to link up. So put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me. Cause I got the plug, I made the call for green. Alright y'all, I'm all done cooking. <clears throat> it is all done. I'm about to plate it. I want you guys to see it first. And then we're gonna plate it. So we got some snow crabs right here. It's a little garnish. Okay. We have our white rice. The gumbo. And just like that, we're all done. We have our um, jumbo, I mean, <laughs> not jumbo, we have our gumbo. Now listen y'all, this is not, once again, I ain't said it a few times in this video, but this is not the traditional gumbo that you would get from Louisiana. I know the people from Louisiana are not gonna like the fact that it is corn in there, probably the fact that it was a packet, and the fact that it was a snow crab, but you're not eating it. I am, so. Okay. I know y'all like the tasso, but not today. Um, <clears throat> I am about to watch a few um, shows on, I think, Netflix. I watched a few movies on Amazon Prime. If y'all haven't been watching Harlem on Amazon Prime, y'all should watch that. And let me know if you think about it, what you think about it, if you already watched it. Like, let me know. <clears throat> and then give me some some suggestions of some good shows and movies to watch. I'm about to watch Jas uh, Jocelyn Cabaret. Jocelyn Cabaret came on last night, I believe. So I'm about to watch that. Yeah, we're watching Jocelyn Kyberry. Vegas. Yeah, double homicide. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna kill yourself? It's just like a living hell for me every day. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all, it is uh, Tuesday and 2.40. I have a haircut scheduled at 245 I'm about 15 minutes away okay I'm headed there right now flying um just washing my hair and it took me a little longer than what I thought so I am headed there now hopefully you know I, I won't be that late because I really need to get my hair cut What the fuck? Stop playing. Y'all see it. Come on now. <laughs> you see you see it. Look. What the fuck is it? It's me. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Alright, we gotta go pick up these kids from school. Alright, bye y'all. <laughs> just got that haircut. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's different. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But um, now I am headed to go pick Aria from school and I am going to be a little late because it's a lot of traffic but damn I gotta do that and then I gotta go fulfill some orders gotta do some work um I'm excited to do that and what else I gotta do 
Oh, I gotta film a video for today. I gotta film a mukbang for today. A uh, mukbang for today. I'm probably gonna eat gumbo because I made gumbo last night, as y'all saw. So, I think we're gonna have a gumbo mukbang. That'll be easy, and then I'll do a seafood boil later if I get hungry. Um, yeah, so. I'll see y'all when we got the little kid in the car. I just got Aria from school. Hi. She said hi. <laughs> All right, now I'm about to run to GFS really quick. I gotta pick up a few things. I'm gone. I wanna go home. <laughs> I know. I'm taking you home right after we leave. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You want? I get you something from Starbucks. Yeah. What you want? Maybe a Starbucks sandwich with no, um, a breakfast thing. Hmm? Uh, this squiggly thing, the, what do they call? Beets? The beets thing. But no bacon? Oh, yeah, bacon. No bacon. I don't think you can bacon take... Bacon cake pop. I don't think you can take... You can't, um... Really you can't get the bacon took off. You gotta take it off yourself. The wings right here. And you just fry them up. Same wings you get from Coney Island. And Taco Bell. GFS is where you come to get those wings. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to Alright y'all, we're at Starbucks. And you want a breakfast sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, how are you doing? I'm great, how about yourself? Not too bad, thanks. What can I do for you? Um, can I get the double smoked bacon cheddar sandwich? Well, unfortunately, we don't have that one today. You have most of the other ones though. Um, do you have, let me get the bacon gouda. Bacon and gouda? Yeah. Uh-huh. Bacon what? Um, and then can I also have a venti chai tea latte um, made with strawberry um, puree? Are you the, hot water or ice? Oh, ice, I'm sorry. And adding strawberry puree. Yes, um, can you use it as the drizzle and put extra of it? And then, um, do you have any, um, pumpkin spice still? No, that one's gone. Uh, um, let me do a caramel, a ice caramel macchiato upside down with extra caramel drizzles and five shots of espresso. What size is that one? Uh, grind, a venti. Venti ice caramel macchiato, extra caramel drizzle. Did you say five shots of espresso? Yes, and upside down. All right. Is that gonna be all for you? Um. Oh, Aria, would you, do you want something to drink? Yeah. Can I get a a, a small scrub, a tall strawberry uh, refresher, sure. and a cake pop? So the strawberry refresher. Do you want it with water or lemonade? Yeah. Uh, lemonade. Ready? All right. And then the cake pop. We've got birthday or birth cake pops. You said birthday or what else? Birth, like planet. Oh, you want a it's birthday cake pop or a, a Earth chocolate? Mm, let's birthday cake. Like a chocolate. Uh, I'll do the birthday. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, that'd be all. All right. If everything looks right on the screen. Yes. Twenty-six, thirteen. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even talk. I'm gonna stutter and stuff. They added a pumpkin spice latte. Y'all know it was seasonal, and we missed the season. I don't know why I didn't get one. You know, the last couple times I came to Starbucks, I had every intention of going back to sleep after I left here, so I didn't get anything caffeinated. Uncle was just lazy. 
<laughs> what? You are lazy. How am I lazy? Because I have to go to sleep. Mm, you never wake up. I always wake up. Why am I up now? Mm, when I was up earlier, you were up. Um, you woke up to go to school at nine o'clock in the morning. And I ain't have to go to. I ain't have to wake up for that. What else? I ain't always supposed to sleep. You supposed to sleep. You slept like ten hours. Girl, I ain't go to sleep until six o'clock this morning. What are you talking about? Four hours. Leave me alone. Four hours straight. Aria, I was woke when you woke up. Four. When you woke up because you were thirsty, I was up and that was five o'clock in the morning. Oh, and I was thirsty. Right, you were thirsty. It was five o'clock in the morning. What are you talking about? Still don't remember. All right, you want to argue? Yeah. You want to tussle? What does the devil mean? <laughs> um, yeah, so, I'm about to, oh, I got to, I'm going to go and I'm going to drop her off and then I'm going to go to the post office because I got to drop some stuff off. And then I'm going to go back home and do some work. Um, then I'm going to have a busy day today, which I'm not mad about. I'm excited about it. I don't know. I keep cutting this radio down, but every time I drive, it cut back up. Like, what is going on? Um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys, you ladies and gents, later on today. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys when we get to the prison. All right, y'all. So, I am now headed to the post office. As you can see, I got some packages I need to jump off. Now, I don't know if it's going to be different. Hopefully, I'm praying that it is and better. But what I'm used to is when I'm going to the post offices near my house to drop off packages, they always have attitudes. Like, there's always something. <clears throat> but it's kind of like that no matter what post office I go to. I don't know if it's because I have a lot of volume sometimes and it'd be, like, overwhelming to the people. Um, but when I was at the building... Someone, one of the male ladies talked to me and she told me that it's so much better when I have my scan sheets, which is this. This is a scan sheet. And with this scan sheet, all I have to do is scan it. Instead of having to scan, say if I have 500 uh, packages, normally they would have to scan each package. But with the scan sheet, they just scan this one barcode and all of the packages are scanned into the system and it gives you guys your tracking information. So, maybe because I have the scan sheets, people won't give me so much attitude, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Praying that it's, you know, it's gonna get better. And I've gotta figure out which post office that I have to go to because there's two of them. And it's crazy because the one was way closer to me is out of my, juris my jurisdiction, Dishkin? my jurisdiction. My jurisdiction. My jurisdiction. My jurisdiction. Out of my area. <laughs> and um, it's closer to me. But the other one is way further out for me. <clears throat> or to me. I don't know. I need to check the um, GPS and see. But to me, it's further. Um, that's the one that I need to go to. So I got to call one of them and see which one is willing to come pick up my packages because I'm not going to be keep dropping them off. I need a schedule pickup and maybe we'll arrange to have pickups on I don't know what day I want to do pickups on um cause I'm, I'm just now starting it back up y'all so I'm just now starting it back up I haven't really told y'all what much of what was going on but very, very, very soon, I plan on getting my stuff manufactured, so it'll be um, wholesale, and it'll be available. Um, the thing is, is that it costs like $40,000. So I gotta bust my ass, I gotta grind real hard um, to get that $40,000 to start getting them manufactured. And y'all, mind you, that's for one sauce. I have three different sauces. So, it's going to get manufactured, and all I would pretty much have to do is house it. So, basically have an area where I can keep them all once they're made, um, which is going to be pretty easy. 
Um, and then I can get them in stores, get them in Amazon, Target, and stuff like that. And that's the goal to get in the stores, you know? And I'm very excited about that. So that's why, another reason why I was excited to let the building go because all the money that I'm spending on keeping this building, I could be saving to get it manufactured, to get, you know, get it where I want it. So that's one of the things I couldn't wait to do. Like, I'm excited to do it. And that's the focus. That's the main focus. Um, and then I could just do whatever and it's just going to be percolating. All I have to do is really um, advertise. So that's the mission. That's the goal. And we're going to start putting that into works. Seasonings, everything. Manufactured. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it's coming sooner. The seasonings and stuff will be manufactured first because it's easier. The sauce, however, that is so difficult, y'all, because a lot of people wants to change my recipe, change a few things that I do, and I feel like it just makes it so much better. So I've been testing it and seeing, you know, if it's, if it's all right, you know what I'm saying, like if I change a few things. But when we made the lemon garlic butter, I made it with the envision of getting it manufactured and not making it difficult for them to manufacture it because my first sauce is more difficult for them to manufacture for some reason. But that second, that, uh, that third one, well, I consider, I consider the spicy its own sauce. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's the original, but just spicy. But y'all, uh, yes. Oh, the work of me doing the sauces is becoming a lot, so I'm ready for it to be manufactured. I'm ready to start putting it on Amazon. I'm ready to start getting it in stores and stuff like that. But I gotta do all these different steps. That's why I was like, oh yeah, it's time to start. And there's no need to have this extra debt, extra building, you know, extra bill. When I got to put so much more money, oh, God. But I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm. Hopefully, they do not give me a hard time over here at this post office. Put it right in this little thing and buzz it and they come get it. Oh my God, y'all, that was so easy today. The man was walking in, a mailman was walking in as I was, you know, setting my stuff up. I gave him the stickers and he pushed it right on in. So easy and quick. Oh, thank God. Cause they be trying to tussle. The mail people be trying to tussle with your bar. All right, so now it's time to go home. I'ma work a little go through my emails I am going to because I know a few people um, emailed about something about their address <clears throat> go through my emails make sure every address is fine print off some more orders um, start packaging oh, packaging packaging <laughs> those orders get those ready to go film a mukbang and then uh, nothing it's a wrap it's gonna be a motherfucking wrap, you know what I'm saying, for the night. I'm gonna edit this video and get it out to y'all for tomorrow. 
and then tomorrow I'm gonna do the same thing over again. I'm ready to get back to work. Honestly, I am. I took a, a lot of time off, a lot of time off, and it's game time. <laughs> I'll see y'all when I get to the crib. So, anyways, yeah, I'll you pictures. Hey y'all, so I am about to film a mukbang for. I'm not doing, I'm vlogging. What are you talking about? Hey, it's not. Crazy. I'm about to film a, um, a mukbang oh. for Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Taco I'm actually, Tuesday. Yeah, I'm actually going to do two videos today. I got um, leftover gumbo, you know, I made on here for you guys. Um, I'm going to film that as a mukbang to come out today. And then because it's Taco Tuesday, mm -hmm. we're having tacos and nachos tonight. And I'm going to film that for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I was just coming out here to let you guys know that I've just been working. I am not going to um, post a lot more today. I am going to probably wrap this vlog up right after I get done filming this one and start a new one for um, uh, Make sure you for Friday. hit that like button. I didn't say nothing. For Friday, so... Yeah, that's what we're gonna do because it looked like I got like Make sure you two subscribe. hours worth of footage. I don't know, I might break it down to one. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. But my gumbo is getting warm right now in the microwave. Um, I gotta warm up the rice. It's gonna take so, this is one of the easiest videos because I just literally warmed over, warm up my leftovers. And then like gumbos, pastas, and stuff like that are so much better the next day when all that- Why did you say gumbo pasta? If you're gonna get your ass off my- Why did you say gumbo pasta? Gumbo and pastas <laughs> are good the next day. Um, okay. Yep, so I'll okay. see y'all okay. later on. See ya. Bye. Alrighty, I'm back. I just got done filming my video. It was pretty quick. I did the um gumbo with the snow crab, and I was talking to the um, mukbang channel, and I was just telling them how one of my biggest pet peeves or one of my biggest um ir things that irritate me is having stuff stuck in my teeth, and that's why I, I um I decided to go ahead and get my uh oh. What's them called? <clears throat> this is ghetto. I got some toothpicks, but I don't feel like when I go get them. The Invisalign things, the Smile Direct Club. I just went on and decided to get it because, like, that's the worst feeling is having meat stuck in my teeth, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I hate it. Comment below if you feel me. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like meat being stuck between your teeth. So I got little gaps and spaces. And um, I would say I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and get them fixed. It's only going to take me four months to fix everything. I can't wait. I was saying that because I'm picking my teeth and my, uh, my what you call it is on its way. My little kit with my teeth stuff. They gave me this little ball, lip balm and a little ball. <clears throat> so right now, my video is uploading to Final Cut Pro, I'm downloading to it so I can edit it, which I don't have to do much, but put my intro in and ship it right to YouTube. So it can come out, and I can start working on my second video tonight because I had a double upload. I mean, not double upload, but double film for I can be ahead. So I didn't really eat that much in this video because we're going to have some taco. So I'm trying to get caught up on all my work all the way around. I filled some orders. I um, shipped out orders today. I printed some orders today. I packed some orders today. Um, 
I fill up the mukbang. I'm vlogging right now. I'm about to end this vlog. And I'm going to start a new vlog. You know, for Friday. Your boy be working. So, with that being said, <laughs> this vlog has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below some more ideas or some things you want to see from me. I have so many things coming, but <clears throat> I was just trying to put everything into play. We're going to have a very, very lit summer, spring, you know, spring, summer. So, um, you know, we're just chilling for the most part right now, but I'm still putting that content out. So I'll see you guys later. Basically, I'll see you guys Friday because that's my later. I'll see you guys Friday over here. But if you want to see more of me, I still will be posting on my uh, mukbang channel daily videos for the rest of this month. Daily videos. Okay. So I love you so much. Peace.